Hello everyone. Uh, this is Prashant. Uh, welcome to our YouTube channel. In last class, we saw saw about all the Python installations, uh, Python installations, and we created a Python uh, project uh, uh, in our uh, IDE. So and today we are going to see the Python data types. Uh, these are the data types in the Python, like numeric. In numeric, we have uh, integer, uh, float, and complex numbers, and we have a dictionary, a boolean, set, and uh, in sequence type, we have a uh, string, list, and tuples. So uh, let's start. Uh, we can uh, go and explore in the hands-on. As we saw in numerous, uh, uh, these are the files. And first of all, uh, last class we created this is the uh, uh, Python project. So how to create a new file? Right click on your project, go to new, and click on the Python file, and uh, give any name uh, as you record, and uh, click on enters. Okay. So this is how simple we can create a Python file. So and uh, in the Python file, the as symbol used to comments. So comment is like a non-runnable uh, 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 lines of code. So this is for only for our study purpose. So we can use hash in front of the string. And uh, first, uh, first thing we are going to see the integer. So integer is used to store a number. So what is the use of number storing a number? Suppose when you going to do the addition operations, we need to do a store first number and we need to store a second number and we need to do the addition and we need to store a third variable number. In the same way, there's a integer is a number storage for positive and negative numbers. So I'm storing a, a variable a. So in the variable a, uh, uh, the variable is the uh, name of this uh, uh, like storage. So I'm storing a 10 in that. Okay. So how uh, using a print method, I'm going to print the a variable. And uh, how to run a Python file? So right click on IDE, click on the run file name. So you you can see uh, you can see the variable 10 over here. So to identify the type of the variable, so I I want to know what type was this is. So for this, in the print method, we need to use a type method. In the type method, we need to pass the a variable. So see this. So my variable, uh, like a variable type is what? Int. So that's why it's printed in a screen. Okay. And uh, not only a positive number, as I said really, integers can store a negative values also. Okay. And let's jump on to the float. Uh, float is a decimal number. Decimal, guys, you know, uh, like one dot five, like a dot using a dot. So here I'm putting a f1 equal to twelve dot five. So I'm storing a one decimal number. Okay, using a print method, uh, we print, uh, we can uh, print the variable. Okay. <coughs> So see this 12.54. So we can use a dot operator to indicate a decimal number. And then the third one is the complex numbers. The complex number is the to describe it is a kind of real plus imaginary as we studied before. So uh, 12 is a real number, right? Like no number. So like imagine a sense in the schools we studied, right? Yeah, uh, uh, 12x, 12y, those kind of stuff. So the j is a imaginary so python is allowing us to store a imaginary value also so right now i'm going to print uh, the variable so see guys so it's printed the real variables as well in this so this is the basic numerous concepts of the data types in the python to comment we need to use a hash symbol to comment it so next thing we are going to study about the dictionary so uh, from the name itself, they are described a dictionary. What is dictionary? So dictionary is in dictionary we have a word, then we the meaning meaning for the word. So that is how dictionary is described. So here we are using a key value. The key is the word, and the value is representing for the key. So we go, we are going to create a one dictionary value. Okay. So in dictionary, we are going to represent it dictionary in the curly braces. And some play, uh, some uh, people will say it's a flower bracket. So this is the flower bracket or curly brace anything. So I'm giving a key. In that key, I'm storing like hello. So see here, the one is the key, and the value is hello. And I'm giving a on, on comma. I'm storing another key and value for the key. Okay. So right now I'm going to print a dictionary of a variable. So this is the dictionary variable I'm printing here. So see this. We can able to store a dictionary variable and right now uh, how to get the value so if i give a 2 i want to specify the key so i am specifying the key 2 so key is representing the welcome if you see if i run here see this it's storing a welcome in the screen so we, if, I, if we pass the one 
so then this time it will print a hello so this is the use of a dictionary and uh, we are going to see the boolean so boolean is and only two things we can store in a boolean either true or a false for this is using for statements so i am uh, see guys we need to give a capital letter in a first letter so that is mandatory if i creating another boolean like a false so only two value you can store either is true or a false okay so right now i am going to print a value for a boolean see guys this is the boolean so boolean only stores the true and false values okay next thing we are going to study about the set so set what is set set is the uh, storing a data in a unorder like what is unorder if i am storing in order 1 2 3 the set will don't follow the order it may be 3 2 1 1 2 3 or anything so it may store in a unorder way but what is a good thing of set means set never keep a duplicates okay duplicate sense if i give 1 1 2 it will take only one ones okay let's see in the code level i am using a set method let's see here so i am typing a in double quotation i am typing a hello see this i am typing a hello here so right now i am going to print a hello see this this hello contains two l characters right so when i going to print see this set is take only the four letters due to the ls duplicate it removed one l from the list so this is a sets operations in this thing so this is the things tomorrow we are going to see the string less tuple uh, data types is because it's a bigger one uh, thanks for joining in uh, uh, do the hands on uh, if you have faced any issues please uh, put me in a comment and uh, subscribe and uh, share to your friends thank you